We're having a real Kiwi fishing. Wind, wind, and more wind. And I'm not talking about Steve O. Could be. Could be. Uh, we're out on the Osprey this morning. We've got a bit of wind, like I was saying, hanging around. So what we're gonna do is basically sneak around this corner, launching out of Hohora today, sneak around the corner, and we'll be able to fish those, basically right along those cliffs, right up past the Mussel Farm, maybe to the corner of Henderson's. So we've got the soft baits on board, and what we're gonna do is just basically flick into that whitewash, into the shallows, see if we can pick up a few big boys out of uh, Hohora Way. So yeah, hope we get into a few good fish. Hope you guys enjoy. Just in the entrance of the harbour, got a heap of sign. So we're just gonna have a little bit of a play here. Like real nice sign. Do a couple of drifts, see if we can hook up something. So wind's blowing that way, boat's going that way, cast the same way. Usual thing, cast down, wire over, work it back. Got Rob Parker over here with a couple on board. Probably doing a bit of a bait and burly bash, picking up some snaps. There's actually a heap of sign a little bit closer in, so we'll probably uh, move back up, do another drift. Okay, we've moved back in, gonna do another drift. We've actually got a heap of gannets working out the back here. We'll try one more drift before we head over there. Devo's hooked up. First fish of the morning. Just went up here. And this little uh, rock. Steve hooked up on his second cast. It's one of our favourite rocks. We normally fish on the other side of it. But there'll be fish swimming right around it. Nice fish, Devo. Nice little starter. Nice little fish to start the morning off, Stevo. Bad, bad. Chuck him in the bin. Might not be out too long this weather. Nice little fish for the bin. Getting close to 50 centimetres, Devo. Good. Another shot. Yeah. Yeah. We've just got this rock here. Got a heap of wind coming down, so we're a little bit sheltered. We'll move in here. And we'll just drift out, do a couple of drifts, see what happens. Hooked up, Stevo. <laughs> Still drifting down off that rock. Got a couple of guys in here. There's probably about four on their boat. Doing the pretty the, much the same thing off that rock, going right up to it. 
then drifting back probably about two three hundred meters catching fish and then they motor back up another drift a few more fish another one for the binny if I can get him in Steve-o meters of water about that same size Steve -O got oh there you go guys how's that Another nice fish for the bin. Going home tomorrow, so we're gonna bin a few to take home for the family. Move back up for another drift. It'd be nice if we get sort of one or two each drift. It's pretty quiet in there. Have one more, see what happens. Rain's coming. Hopefully, we can pick up a few before the rain starts. moving all over the show for us at the moment so it's trying to figure out if it wants to change to the southerly or stay northwest but we're trying to hang in there oh just a little car why heap of sign just straight down under the boat so we're just dropping straight down and bobbing it around oh steve is hooked up A nice fish, Devo. In the net. It's not a bad fish there, fella. Just chucking in around this whitewash. Steve got hammered. Nice fish. Nice kelpie. We got around there 55 centimeters. There you go. Nice snap and around the whitewash. Another 
another one for the bin fish of the day so far it's probably getting close to 60 that fella there you go just fishing around this whitewash got a heap of wind hassling us got a bit of rain coming through but we're persevering got a few for the bin hooked up just come into one of the little bays and we're hooked up still battling the wind Might be one for the bin, Stevo. It's the little binny on our little reef that we found in the bay here. There you go, it's a nice fish. Still on the softy there. Bad little fish for the bin. Because there's so much wind around, what we're thinking of doing. Got a nice little reef here that we've been picking up a few fish over the past couple of days. Thinking of maybe dropping the burly and having a bit of a bait and burly bash here. It's just making it so difficult to drift with the softies, this wind gets annoying so we might just try a couple of sneaky drifts and if it's just too much we might just drop that anchor do half an hour of a bait and burly bash here and then make our way home drag soft bait gone over the little reef Good old drag. Good old drag. The old softy. It's basically jigging it up, letting some line out. Going tight, jig it up, let line out. Oh, he's on the reef. Stuck on the reef a bit there. Might be another binny, Stevo. Oh, it's a poro. <laughs> little poro on the softy. How's that? Beauty. We'll tuck him in the bin for sure. Nice little boy.
Oh, little touch there, Stephen. Hooked up. It's on our way home. Anchored up, dropped the burly. That one's just gotten crazy. So we'll just see if we can pick up a couple more snaps in the burly trail. If we're lucky, I think we've got about five. So we're hoping just to get another couple to take home. She's foul hooked, Stevo. She's a keeper though. Keepy in the butt. There you go. Little fella. But well takeable. He's probably getting close to that 37, 38. Like I was saying, we're going home. Tomorrow, so we'll chuck a couple in the bin. The smaller ones are quite nice. But yeah, we're on our way home and we stopped off here just to drop a burly by the rock here. Let's see if we can um, pick up a couple more for the, for the bin before we call it a day. Yeah, that one got a bit crazy on us, guys. Probably was going about 30 knots. I'm just sheltered in this bay here. Big cliffs at the front there, keeping us out of the wind, most of the wind. We'll just see if we can pick up a few fish in that early trail. Had a heap of blue mau mau around the burley. Got the net out, netted up a couple. Quite nice to add to the bin. Another one for the bin. Probably a similar size. Another nice little binny, Stevo. This one hooked in the nose. Got a bit nosy. There you go. Another nice fish for the bin. Like I was saying, these fish aren't that big, but they're actually nice to eat. These smaller fish. bad fish to put in the bin. Easy to fill it. Juicy. Come on Steve-o. You want to go home we need to catch a couple more. If you want to go home and have your cup of tea and pizza and put your warm sockies on. Hurry up and catch a couple and then we can go. Shut up. <laughs> well guys, pretty much gonna call it a day. A windy one at that, that's for sure. A little bit wet. 
but hey, in the end, we didn't do too badly. Probably got about maybe seven or eight snaps in there. Better ones on the bottom. Got a couple of goodies. They've got up and around the rocks, obviously. Scooped up a couple of blue mau mau with the net. So yeah, not a, not a too bad a day actually. It's our last day, so I thought we'd um, come out and just grab some fish, even though it was going to be a bit rough and wet. And hey, we got some in the bin. So hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, tight lines. Well, there you go, guys. Another fun six days fishing trip in the far north. Now. As you've probably seen, we only had one day where there was no wind, which was a beautiful day. We were able to get out wide, out off Henderson's and stuff like that. But also, the reason why we stay here in the top 10 holiday park is we were still able to get out those other five days, even though we had a heap of wind. So that's why we base ourselves at the top 10 holiday park. And it's, it's a perfect spot to base yourself. It just gives you so many options of fishing, no matter what way the wind is. If it's strong, you can be in the harbours. You know, if it's onshores here, it's offshores that side. If it's onshores, it's offshores this side. And we've also got the west coast, so it's just the perfect spot to base yourself. Now, if you want to make some real Kiwi fishing ventures yourself, basically, here's your top 10 right here. Whara Fifi, nice beach. It's not always about fishing. It can be a, a family adventure as well. So great place to stay with family as well safe beach right here top 10s right there safe beach out in front for your kids now moving on we've got tokoro tokoro beach so great for surf casting in the evenings early mornings and we also set the kontiki it's pretty safe to drive the beach at any tide low tide high tide can pretty much do it on a four-wheel drive no matter that tide a lot of guys driving in the two-wheel drive i do prefer the four-wheel drive I would suggest that but guys do do it on the two-wheel drive they do it on that lower tide so you're down on that hard hard sand and you come in on that bottom end of Tokoro there's a real hard sort of flat area that you can come onto the beach if you do want to do that in the two-wheel drive but I would suggest four-wheel drive now moving over to the other side you'll drive five minutes back and you'll go over the hill and you'll come into Rangiputa now Rangiputa is a beautiful place, crystal clear water, can be hard fishing during the day but you get those trevs, you get kawai there during the day and the odd times you will get snapper, especially on those overcast days, a little bit of wind lapping up onshore, done quite well there. But launching at um, Rangiputa, you've got the boat ramp sand there and you've got a far one further down and it's a little bit steep but it, no sweat getting your boat down there. Now if you want to do a bit of surf casting, guys fish down on the towards the rocks or you can drive along the beach right up to the point. There's a nice hole up there. So great for surf casting, great for surf casting with the kids, just to walk along the beach with the family. And during the hot summer days, it's just a beautiful place to take your kids for a swim as well. Pretty safe there, just in that local little bit of harbour. Now, if you want to sort of head this way, you've got Waikato Bay out the back there, and they do have um, dock there that you can camp as well. Beautiful place on a summer's day, crystal clear, beautiful, nice snorkeling and stuff like that. So, moving a little bit further north, what we do sometimes is we drive up to Hohora and we launch out of Hohora. Now, that gives you heaps of options, especially with your deep water and your soft baiting in the white wash and stuff like that. Launch out of Hohora there, pretty easy launch. You've got one down at the wharf, the local wharf, which isn't too bad, or you can drive out to Hohora Heads. There's a campsite there and not a bad ramp there. It is off hard packed sand, so it's not too bad, even on a biggish sort of five, six meter boat, it's doable. Great place to start you're fishing right there in the entrance, bit of surf casting. And if you want to walk a little bit further around and drag your kontiki, you can. You can come in another way and you can come the opposite way if you want to do your kontiki. 
Now moving along, once you've launched, you've got Henderson's, Rarawa, right up to Paringaringa. You can go extreme to North Cape, which is pretty, pretty up there in a smallish boat. We've gone halfway, but haven't gone all that way. Real nice area, right along that coastline, flicking softies in at the whitewash, like I was saying, which we've done. And we also do a bit of bait and burly bash, just in the bay as well, any of the bays, just drop an anchor, bait and burly, or even soft baiting in the bays, perfect. Moving further north, what we do is we head up to the 90s. So we've got strong easterlies, nor'east, maybe even a south east. You can sneak that in there, and you've got a small sort of one meter swell, perfect for your surf casting. The 90 mile magical place. It's a beautiful place, never really lets you down. You've got your surf casting, and obviously your contiki. There is a bit of rocks there, Scotts Point, the bluff, and you can do a bit of fishing off the rocks but that's basically why we base ourselves at the top 10 not only is it great hospitality there and they look after you easy tenting basic cabins right up to your tourist cabins motel and I think they've even got a three bedroom house there so plenty of places to basically fish no matter what way that wind is how strong it is crappy weather nice weather there's always a spot to fish when you base yourselves at the top 10 holiday park in Whara Fifi.